What happened to the frame rate? Oh, hell. Oh, hell game. Okay, there it goes. Hey. Power has been restored in the machine room. The chapter Battle of the Birds is now available. <laughs> Character does a little happy dance. Alrighty, uh, well, yeah, why not? Let's go ahead and just commit to, to uh, going on to the second level as opposed to maxing out the first level. That is more or less anathemic to the way that I normally would play uh, Super Mario 64 and whatnot. But uh, this is a hat in time, so I'm ready to I'm ready to try new things. I'm ready to learn new ways of playing video games. So let's just start blowing up these boxes. And, and this unlocked a route up to a paintbrush full of modern art. So this is ceci n'est pas un parapluie, which is français for. This is not a pipe. An umbrella. This is not a pipe. Anyway, uh oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I made a I made a drawing like this once. It was with Wanderbot and one of the slimes from the slime rancher from the slime rancher game. Uh, I think I made a uh, drawing like this one for um, Pass Part Two. Uh, this is another uh, famous piece of artwork. Um, this one is called, um, uh, um, The Virtuous, uh, Man by Salvador Dali, right next to The Virtuous Man by, uh, Salvador da Vinci. And what we got over here is some art from, uh, from France. Uh, because you see the chef is right there, and we've already been over this. Chef is French for Le Boss. Uh, I actually don't know what this artwork is. This one, this one eludes me. Um, it looks like some sort of still life, but I don't know. This is another piece of art that I don't know what it is. This is, looks like Van Gogh, I think. Uh, this one is, um, wait, this is, I could just look like that. <laughs> this is a little bit easier. Yeah, so in the middle right there, that's called, um, that's called Manor Leaser. And, uh, what that, what, that, that one was also painted by, uh, Salvador da Vinci over there. To our lower left, that one's called, um, uh, Marilyn Manson. That one was done by, um, what's his name? Uh, Andy Dick. Uh, you know, the famous actor-comedian. Up there, uh, we got some alien artwork painted by aliens. Uh... In the lower right, I don't know what that is. On the left, I don't know what that is. In the middle, I don't know what that is. In the upper right, I don't know what that is. In the upper middle, I don't know what that is. Okay, uh, let's look at these. So we got a, a, a seascape. Um, I don't know. There was probably like a Japanese like thing. You know, like the great tidal, tidal wave or whatever. By, um, I don't know. Also Salvador Dali. Wait. Damn it! I said it right. Uh, in our lower right over here, we have um, the persistence of clocks, and uh, that one, uh, that one there, that was painted by um, Alexander Hamilton. And uh, fun fact, he also wrote the Declaration of Independence and the Articles of Confederation, numbers one, two, and five. Alrighty, uh, and in the middle, uh, if you remember, there was a guy with a camera. Yeah. Cool. What the hell is this thing? What? 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 Oh. Oh. Jeez, what's going on here? I remember these things. There was a giant boy that you had to ride around on the back of, and he taught. It, it was really, really hard level, and ain't nobody liked it know how. Okay, so this is clearly just like a Super Mario Sunshine level. <laughs> oh, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no! Everything is wrong with the universe. Wait, everything's fine. Everything's fine. Birded it. Oh, I even got a checkpoint. Okay, let's blow up this crazy crate. And inside we find like four dollars. And now 
Oh, thank you for the uh, checkpoint, because this is gonna suck. Yep. Okay. Damn. Okay, I was making it way too hard. Nailed it. I mean, we can just blow that stuff up real easy like. Never mind. We can blow that stuff real easy like. There we go. I didn't get money that time. Okay, so the lampposts are checked. Well, that's going to collapse. <laughs> I know video games. That, pet is, that platform is a time platform that will fall out from beneath me. Come on. Okay, maybe not. Okay, the platform isn't, like, doing the shaky shakes, so I know then that it won't actually, uh, break, so we should be okay. Alrighty, and let's just get through this stuff. We got some enemies right over Cha. They're very spooky Halloweenies, but it's okay, because I can just do that. Now, here's the question. These things, if I touch them, these gonna hurt me. So what I'm gonna do is just blow them up. And then, I think I screwed up. Yep, there we are. That's what I need to do. Well, um... Okay. So we need to, uh, do the dashy attacks off these guys, and then actually land on the platform as opposed to dying. And we should be good to go from here. And, uh, does my character have, like, a one hit point I'm gonna die animation thing going on here? Because she looks very, very distressed right now. Uh, you know, certainly she looks as uh, she's filled with the abstract, uh, like, abject existential dread that I would have if I was like, Oh god, I only have one hit point left. And everyone would be like, Bird, life isn't a video game. Just say you're, like, you've got a cold. And I'm like, no, I have a status effect. It's giving me minus ten to, I don't know, feeling like a champ. Cool. So, this is, uh... Ooh. Oh! Well, uh, I'm not... I don't consider myself a gambling man, but, uh... Um... Oh, I can either take Hat Flare, or I can re-roll it for a different thing. Oh, okay. New color. No, let's re-roll that. Alright. So, I gained, uh... A flare for the kid's hat? Oh, I can now swap the appearance of the kid's hat so it looks cooler. Eh. I still like the, uh, the witch's brew hat that lets me, like, concoct potions and, like, uh, lure small children into my house. Who the hell is it now? What? I remember you, Mr. Cat. You cooked things. Well, I have news for you. This is my home. I don't take kindly to what the hell are these things? I guess I can repair them, but what are they? Oh, these are relic stands. Alright. I've upgraded. I've done it! It's a match. You've identified a relic from this strange planet. That did something? Tiny train. And birds? This looks like a tiny version of the train the birds use to get to work. Are there tiny birds in there? Do they make tiny movies? I don't have time to deal with tiny bird society. All right, let's repair this one next. Wait, this one was cheaper? What the hell? I could have saved money. Okay, we'll start by putting down the base of a hamburger. And then... We'll, uh, we'll have to go find the rest of the hamburger at some point. And let's see what Chef Cat's up to. What a lovely spaceship you have here. Sorry for the break and entering. I just really wanted to see what an alien spaceship is like. You know, I expected aliens to be more green and probably with a thirst for flesh. But I guess you aliens come in all shapes and sizes, huh? Hey, if you're looking to explore our planet, you'll need to understand it first. Otherwise, you won't know if you're stepping on grass or quicksand. Don't know how to identify relics? Fear not. Cookin' Cade is here. 
Okay, what does this cat have to do with relics? I'll let you have this burger cushion relic for free. Identify this relic at the podium. If you place them on the podium in the correct order, you might be able to make sense of it. If you're able to identify a relic, something great might happen. You never know, so keep an eye out for relics. Something great might happen. You might wake up tomorrow with 50 more dollars in your bank account. I don't know, I'm just a cat. I've taught you everything I know about relics. Okay. Okay, are you all ready for this? At some point, and you know, I'm not gonna tell you how it happened, but uh, but I managed to actually find the other half of the burger, which, I mean, crazy, right? Like, just super pro gamer skills right there. But uh, we got the burger here, and I'm gonna just go ahead and put this uh, upper half on here. And you know, the cat did say in the tutorial that we have to put, the, put it in the right order. So I think I have this set up okay, right? You put the bun, and then the the meat, and then whatever you do, you don't put the cheese on the countertop. I know that that's bad, because then the cheese picks up all the things that you have on your countertop. You know, like your your dirt, and um, you know, your, your used taco shells and stuff like that. Uh, I should probably clean my counters. It's a match, you've identified a relic from the strange planet. Oh. Okay. Earthling sitting device. Research concludes that this thing is very soft to sit on. So soft. Uh, excuse me. So soft that the only logical conclusion is that these are the chairs of this planet. It's not a snack. I tried. Tastes like fabric. Oh. Oh. Oh, well, ain't that just a, a pile of peaches? <laughs> she does. She assumes various poses. Okay, I thought there'd be more. This is fine, but I just thought that there would be more. That's all. Okay, cool. Let's uh, let's switch over to the bomb hat, and let's just go ahead and what's cha? Aw, oh, yeah. I got a gumball machine. It's a small machine that takes tokens and gives a gift in return. Spent three tokens for a gift? I hate gifts. Okay. Let's, uh, let's go back to Mafia Town and see what happened with the whole creation of a small, like, doodly thing around it. I guess that unlocked the golden vault and also the hidden and time orbit detected. What is this going to summon a bunch of shadow Mario's that will try to like chase around me and try to hurt me with every step I take? Uh, time rift? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Ah, so I need to go to that locale, which I know where it is. I could do that. Let's go to Mafia Town. Go to the cave. The Mafia people are like, Little girl cannot go into a cave. And then I'll be like, I don't give a crap about your stupid cave, okay? It's not the time or the place. I got other things I'm doing with my life. Just just because you care about the cave doesn't mean that I care about the cave. You know? And it's just like... It's just like ridiculous, like how people like will just treat you in this world. You know? It's just... It's, it's just ridiculous sometimes. Anyway, having taken that incredibly personally, let's, uh... Oh. <laughs> Funny. If I... If this was the first time I was going through the level, I've reached the end of the level here. Uh... Whoa. Oh, that actually unlocked a, um... That actually gave me an achievement. I got an achievement for, uh... For, for, for um... Going the, the long way through, uh... <laughs> or around the level as opposed to going directly to it the uh, quote-unquote correct way. The achievement was sequence break. Um, I 
I might take the, a moment to just quickly read it, just because I'm curious to see what the description for the sequence break achievement is. But, uh, for now, I need to find my way to the cave. Which, uh, don't actually remember where it is. Stupid cave, stupid people always telling me not to go into them. Damn cave police. A grown man, I can go into whatever caves I want. Well, I mean, I guess not in the video game. Ah. Uh, I think that being a little, like, seven-year-old girl is probably about as far away as one can get from being a grown man. I mean, it does, I guess, it does flip the dimensions uh, around entirely on both axes, so. Huh. I thought that observation was going to be a lot more interesting than it actually was. I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, uh, cool. So if I remember, the cave is right here, and I'm on the wrong side of it. So, if I go through this can cannon thing, the time rift will be right over Cha. Right? Yeah, this is where the time rift was. The, the, the orbity thing. They said it was right, like, here? Did I mess it up? I remember. Oh, there it is. It's, uh, kind of... I didn't... Oh, I see. So there's like... It, there's a little bit of perspective involved. Wow, that is some shiny sand. So the screenshot was from actually like up here or something, which makes it look like the the uh, time uh, rift thing is going to be um, like closer to you. Or closer to the ground. But we'll just pop into this thing real quick. 